Imagine yourself in the following scenario. You're home alone with your kid and you're trying to get them ready to go out. They're nicely dressed, but their hair isn't there yet. <laughs> so what do you do? Well, my name is Jaritza Gonzalez and I'm going to teach you how to brush your kid's hair and a few tricks on how to keep them calm. I know it may seem like common sense, but brushing a kid's hair is not as simple as it seems. From personal experience, I depended on my mom the first year to brush her hair. So here I am today trying to make it easier for current parents and future parents because eventually you will have to brush a kid's hair. So what do you need? Well the following materials will help ease the process. You will need two brushes, the bent hair brush for the knots a soft bristle brush for styling, a rubber band to hold the hair, a bow for personal taste, a detangler to help ease the knots away, gel according to taste, and at least two forms of entertainment, a snack, in this case a cookie, of course there's several other healthy snacks, and the favorite TV show. Now, step one will be grabbing your child and placing them on your lap. A phone is also a helpful trick to keeping them calm. <laughs> you start by grabbing the hair and playing a bit with it to get them to know that you're about to work on their hair. Start with a detangler. Place the bit according to how much you feel you need. And place it just on the tips only. Once this is done, you're going to have to um, start with the entertainment. Place your favorite TV show, for example, Umi Sumi from Nick Jr. It helps them with shapes and numbers and their cookie to keep them calm. Here, you want a cookie? <laughs> like I said, brushing a kid's hair is not the easiest thing to do and it's not predictable. So the phone will do just fine. What's the video about? Start with oh. a detangling brush. Now, you're going to have to grab your kid's hair all the way. Because this helps so that when you start to brush down, you're not pulling on the top of the hair so they don't cry. So brush down until you remove all the nuts. Yes, Princess, so keep playing with the phone. Talk to your kid, it helps out a lot too. So you brush down and you slowly make your way up. That way, it causes less pain for them. Are you okay, Nani? Mm -hmm. Once you get all the nuts out, you move to the soft bristle brush. This is for the styling. Now, like I said, you can use gel. That's only if you want to. I personally don't like to use gel because I feel she's fine without it. Now, grab her hair again and start brushing in the direction that you wish. In this video, we'll be making a sideways ponytail. So you brush to the side, grabbing all the hair, and now it's when you grab the hair band. There will be a lot of moving, so you have to be ready for that. So now you have your ponytail. Remember, don't do it too tight because that will cause discomfort. Brush the bangs if they have any. Get it out of their face. Now, place a bow according to your taste and place it just there for a finishing touch. There's a beautiful little girl. 
Now, if you have a boy, it still helps to have some of these things because if they have long hair, a rubber band will be needed to hold their hair up. The bow, of course, that is, well, if you want to, <laughs> that's your taste. Now here you have your child ready to go out Mama. with the hair done, nicely combed, Open it. and not a problem. Here you go. And now you can finish getting ready to go out on the date with your child. Can you say bye bye to the camera? Bye camera. <laughs> bye camera. <laughs> bye bye and thanks for joining me.